Hello everyone, it's Tail here. Welcome to my Isle to Sturmovic 1946 Christmas Special. Uh, it's not about Christmas, and it's not very special. But, it's something different from the usual thing we do, so it's not uh, shooting enemy aircraft or bombing things. This is the V1 intercept sample mission, which comes with the game. And uh, your goal is to destroy the V1 rocket in the air before it hits its targets on the ground. Um, which is not difficult, but what I'm going to try and do is not destroy it with my guns, but uh, be a bit more clever about it, because sometimes when you try and destroy the V1 with your guns, obviously it's carrying a very high uh, explosive, so it can explode and result in this. Yes, so we don't want that to happen. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is tip the wings of the V1 with my own wings instead, causing it to fall out of the sky and crash into the sea. That's the idea. Um, let's get started. This might take me a very long time to accomplish. I don't know. Uh, let's see, get my settings here. Okay, I'm in the P-51. Here's my plane. Pretty beautiful. Now that's the airfield down there where the V-1 will be launching from. I need to watch out for it and then dive after it once it's been launched. Who knows, maybe I'll do this first time and this will be a very short video. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be launched from one of those two rails down there. One of the other problems is that the V1 doesn't have an icon in the game, so you have to spot it with your eyes. It's not too much of a problem. Just watching to see any moment now it should get launched. Uh, come on, Mr. V1. Where are you? There we go. Whee! And off it goes. You can just about see it. It's actually easier to see if I zoom out. Okay, so here we go. I need to wait until it gets to about 1,000 meters. And then uh, go for it. The game is kind of freezing there for a minute. There's its shadow. Okay, there it is. I believe this was a tactic which was used in the war. I may be talking absolute bollocks there. But I've, for some reason I've got a memory of somebody, or reading it somewhere, that this is what pilots did with V1s in the war. Alright. We're coming up to it, and we're probably going to go zoom right past it. This is another problem. I need to be pretty much the same speed as it. Uh, there it is. Just try and lose a bit of speed. And of course I've got a time limit, I need to do this before it reaches its target. Whoop, okay. Now it's speeding away from me. Uh, we've got a little time... Yeah, I think the target is the far island. So we've got a little bit of time. Let's pump the prop pitch up. on of course V1s were unmanned rockets pretty much the first of their kind I've often wondered how they uh, managed to get it to fall out of the sky exactly when they wanted it to uh, here we go we're gonna uh, just slow down come on come on come on God, we're close. Okay, speed up a bit. This is maintaining speed with it, that's the problem. It's the same thing when you're trying to keep in formation with the AI. It's not easy to do. Come on. Okay, a little closer. Uh, 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 God. Uh, no. <laughs> No, that didn't work. I hit it with my tail. Oh dear. Oh well. 
take two, I guess. I think I'll, what I'll do, because this may take a few attempts, so I'll probably just edit it and uh, cut between the different attempts. So I'll see you when uh, it's time to reattempt this feat. Okay, here I am again. Once more trying to match speeds with the V1, although not really done a great job there. Oh god, there it goes. Completely lost it now. Uh, that's going to be the trickiest thing, I think. Well, one of the trickiest things, actually managing to just tip the wing is going to be incredibly tricky. Pulling the prop pitch up might uh, be a good idea to catch up here. Might have to re-attempt this because I'm quite far back now. Uh, maybe I can catch up to it in time. speed things up a little bit. Come on. Okay, here we go. We're getting closer. Time to start slowing down. I think it needs to be around about like 220 miles an hour, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe 250. I should, uh, next time I'm um, next to it and kind of flying at the same speed, I should check the uh, speedometer. It looks like it's going to be around about 250, maybe. Just trying to creep up on it gradually. I think. Um, it's about to crash into the ground though, I think. Maybe be out of time. No, 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 no. All right, here I am again. Pulling up alongside him. Probably going way too fast though, yeah. Come on, come on, slow down, slow down. There we go, good. Couple up. Yes, yeah, going about 230 miles an hour. This is pretty, pretty good. Okay, just need to get a little bit closer. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hopefully this is actually possible, otherwise I might be here a very long time. I'm fairly sure it is possible. Uh, I'm, I think, because I'm, I'm crashing into the body, I need to just lightly tip the wing rather than crash into it. Um, Alright, let's have another go. Okay, here I am again. It's really difficult to get close because obviously as you turn towards it you start to move across its path. You know, you're angling yourself towards it. Um, I don't think rudder is going to be much help here. I think I need to try and turn using the wings, using the ailerons more. Uh, Going too fast, need it to overtake me a bit. Bollocks! Maybe I should just shoot it. To hell with it. Death is more. Uh, a better fate than having to do this 50 times. The 
more throttle, come on, come on. Ah! Oh, I don't know if this is possible. I'm sure it's possible. Maybe it's not possible. Let me check. I'm going to check the internet and see if this is actually possible. One moment. Okay, I've done a bit of research. I couldn't find anything on whether this is actually possible to do in the game, but I did so confirm that it was possible in real life. I don't think they actually touched the wings. They put the um, this wing under the V1's wing, and that caused it to kind of raise up, disrupted the airflow, causing it to raise up and uh, topple out of the sky. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to be modelled in this game, thinking probably not but we can give it a go even then I'm probably just going to accidentally crash into the, the bomb anyway so I might just, just be better off trying to shoot it from a distance that might be easier than all this uh, okay there it goes see its shadow, I can't actually see it. So, is that it or is it? I don't know. Let's head on in. There it is. Alright, let's just try putting the wing underneath it see if that does anything. don't think it will, that's the only problem. If it doesn't work this time, I think I'm just going to shoot it down and to hell with it if I die. At least I can end this video. Drop which 100%. Close the radiators, gives me more speed. Okay, start to throttle down. Well, if anything, we've managed to get a nice close-up look at the V1 quite a few times. Come on! Damn it. I have to sing with it now. Come on, catch up. Ah, it's right behind me. Come on. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. From what well, I read in Wikipedia, the wing needs to be at least six inches close to actually have any effect. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that was pretty close and it had zero effect, so I think the wing method is just not going to work. Alas. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it is possible. But not for me. Let's just shoot this damn thing. Probably even won't be able to do that. Nope, of course not. Oh, 
Come on, come on. Got a hit. Not enough to uh, destroy it. I guess what I want to do is try and shoot the wings rather than the actual bomb part. Just so I don't end up getting killed. Ah! No, 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 come on. I'm trying to do it from a distance so I don't end up blowing up. But I'm just failing right now. Oh, I've got a couple of hits at the end there. More hits. And it's now smoking, but it's going to drop. It's going to explode. I'm too late. Some poor forest animal is going to have a bad day. Oh, it hasn't exploded. Maybe I did shoot it down. Is it still there? No, I don't think there's any wreckage. Oh well. Uh, what's this? Another one? They fired two? I did not know that. Those dastardly Germans. Gonna be a bit too far away, and he's dropping now as well. No! Although he's dropping into the sea. So. That's okay. Into the sea! Into the sea! <laughs> Excellent! Well, uh, that was that. Thanks for watching my special Christmas special video of specialness. I'm sorry it wasn't very special. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you to everybody who's watched my videos, subscribed, commented, liked them, followed me on Twitter, um, especially people who uh, are generous enough to support me on Patreon this year. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, it's been a good year. We've passed the 2,000 subscriber mark. Let's head more onwards. March proudly on to 3,000 subscribers. More games, more videos, more tail mange. Let's do this. Come on, do it now. I'll see you next year. Goodbye.